Hey guys, it's me, the Shadow Master, and I wasn't able to stream this, and uh, I already got spoiled on what the titles of some of these things were, like Pokemon, um, uh, Master Trainer, I think it was called, and Sleep, and Home, I don't know what they meant by all of this, but I'm going to go ahead and, you know, just start this up so i can see what exactly is going on here so i don't know what any of this is i just saw images and titles and i don't i didn't want to stream it because i feel like this didn't really need a stream or i don't feel like this needed a stream um what does need what does need a stream and i don't know if i'll be able to provide it on time is the pokemon direct but this, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's, we're going to find out exactly what this has in store for us. Um, I will try to go ahead and stream the Pokemon Direct if I can. But um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if I could. Hold on. I don't think it's getting audio. The audio is not reaching. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's see what this is about. Pokemon press conference. I didn't want to do, like, too much of a big reaction. I might, like, edit this or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's, what, what's in store for here. But, let's see what happens. Um... I'm losing my, my, my Pokemon knowledge here. Oh, I see a Tyranitar over there. What is going on? They had success, like the huge success off the of Pokemon Go, and now they're trying to think of ways to, to milk it. <laughs> to like milk Pokemon even further, like, oh my god, how far can we take this? Good morning. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Oh, I thought there was going to be like no translator. Oh, there's triple translators. Oh boy, this is going to be a long video. Forward, we plan to deliver more of our services to Pokemon fans who are native speakers of Chinese. Trying to give the Chinese Pokemon. For the rest of today's presentation, we will switch to simultaneous translation. Ah. Just broke one of my rubber bands from my, from my braces. First, I would like to talk about Movies, including Pokemon's first Hollywood film, Detective Pikachu. Allow me to invite that was a weird Mr. Switch. Matsuoka from Toho on stage. Oh. Ah. No, keep going. What kind of music was that? That wasn't any Good Pokemon morning, music that I heard. I'm Matsuoka from Toho. This is a bit of a sudden announcement, <laughs> but the day after tomorrow, assuming the motion is approved, I will be appointed as an external board member to the Pokemon Company's board of directors. I look forward to working more closely with the company. As you all know, Detective Pikachu de debuted in theaters on May 3rd and has received a lot of praise around the world. As a movie based on a Japanese IP, it's right up there with Godzilla in terms of box office success. Toho, I mean, it's Toho is an investor in the Detective Pikachu project and we also handled the distribution in Japan. We have this summer's movie coming up. Oh, we look forward of course. to take on 
new creative challenges alongside Pokemon and the movie business in the future. And while I shouldn't be promoting the new Godzilla movie here today, for those who want to see Ken Watanabe see on the big screen again, I hope you will find your way to theaters starting the day after tomorrow. Thank you. Back to you, Mr. Ishihara. Hey, yeah, thank you for promoting Godzilla, you son of a bitch. <laughs> It was nice of you to so casually insert that bit of news that was so completely unrelated to Pokemon. Thank you. <laughs> Setting Godzilla aside, <laughs> the Detective Pikachu oh, the shade. was based on a Nintendo 3DS game of the same name. One of the three companies involved in the original creation of Pokemon, called Creatures, developed it. The 3DS game's story ended on a bit of a cliffhanger. But the conclusion to the story will finally be coming to Nintendo Switch. So there wasn't a conclusion? I hope fans will look forward to seeing a, a different take on the ending to the story than what you saw in theaters. Oh, the ending was... Wait, what? Uh, I'm confused. I gotta review this Pokemon Detective Pikachu thing. Chang'e Airport in Singapore, which is one of the premier airports in Asia, a massive commercial facility called Jewel was opened. Within Jewel, we opened Pokemon Center Singapore. Singapore? This store represents our flagship location in the region. Pokemon Centers are not just shops for Pokemon products. I mean, they got the Nintendo they New York store that has like for stuff Pokemon from fans Pokemon. To gather and enjoy a variety they used to be of software Center. and hardware services. To tell you more about future initiatives for Pokemon Center, I would like to invite the president of Pokemon Center, Mr. Uego, onto stage. Here we go. The song again. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, they, they cut it off too early. Pokemon <laughs> Center from Pokemon Center. Oh, so weird. Today's conference is being held in the Shibuya district. Here it comes. Stay there, stay there, so the song will keep on playing. Oh! 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 Hi, everyone. I'm Ethan Wong from NetEase. NetEase is the second largest game developer in the Why world. Why did they just change his voice? An annual active user Why did they give him a bitch voice? 550 million globally. Since 2001, NetEase has developed over 200 games in multiple genres with massive popularity. Up to this April, four of the top 10 most popular games in China are made by NetEase. Since the very beginning, we've always been dedicated to creating the best and innovative games for guest. Another guest. For our next announcement. Another guest. Oh, the song again. <gasps> Junichi Masuda, motherfucker! Ah, 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 oh. Hello, everyone. I'm Masuda from Game Freak. Game Freak. I'm here to talk about the future of Pokemon. Pokemon was born as a video game for the Game Boy and has evolved into a wide variety of content beloved by trainers all around the world. With the release of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee for Nintendo Switch, as well as Pokemon Go, we have also seen a large number of new players who are experiencing Pokemon for the very first time. As a result, in recent years, the world of Pokemon has become broader than we could have ever imagined before. That's right. At the same time, we also have a great many players who have gone from Game Boy Advance to Nintendo DS. That's me right there. And also on to Nintendo 3DS That's me right using there. connectivity features to bring Pokemon that. 
with them on adventures I did all that regions along the way these Pokemon exist beyond just a single game or hardware device and have become irreplaceable to their trainers this special relationship is something unique to the Pokemon world with so many different parts of this Pokemon world we wanted to make a single location where they could all come together and use that to well, deliver I'll, a I'll new experience that, that not only connects Pokemon with a variety of games but also pl connects players with each other. We're calling it Pokemon Home. The concept behind Pokemon Home is to be a place where all Pokemon can gather. We're this is like my Pokemon Ranch. Cloud service that will work with smartphone devices and Nintendo Switch. And it will allow you to bring over the Pokemon that have shared in your adventures. On Nintendo 3DS, we created a service, a Pokemon, a, a service called Pokemon Bank that allowed players to bring Pokemon from past games into the latest series of the games on the system. With Pokemon Home, go, with Pokemon Home, we aimed to leave behind the boundaries of a single system and allow for players to connect with Pokemon Bank, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, the upcoming Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games, and also Pokemon Go. And we will, of course, take care, take great care to preserve the value that each of these Pokemon have to their trainers. And in the future, the content in which you can play with your Pokemon will continue to expand even further. Pokemon Home will also feature trading functionality allowing you to trade anytime, anywhere, as long as you have your smartphone with you. This is interesting. Trade with your friends face to face or with anyone else from around the world over the internet. What? Getting a large number of people in a single location together to trade all at once is another cool feature we're looking into implementing. Pokemon Home. 2020. As the place where all Pokemon can gather, we plan to launch it in early 2020. That is very interesting. We're working hard to create a new future for people and their Pokemon, so I hope you'll look forward to it. We also plan to reveal more news about Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield on June 5th, next week, at 6 a.m. I'm going to try to be there. I mean, I'm not going to be there, but I'm going to try to so please do not miss it. avoid spoilers for that one. Thank you, Mr. Masuda. Next, uh, please take a look at this video. Okay. Is it about Pokemon Home? This feels very gold. Very gold. Yeah, it's Pokemon Gold. Pokemon made walking into entertainment. Our daily life has become more colorful, active, and fulfilling. But this is just the beginning. Oh, really? Pokemon could enrich our everyday lives even further. What is that? What is that? As you could see from the video, exploring the real world was one of the themes of Pokemon Go. And through that game, Pokemon trainers all around the world began to spend more time walking outdoors. We believe we were able to take the simple human act of walking and turn it into entertainment for many people around the world.
After walking, we decided to focus on the act of sleeping. Why? Everyone spends a large part of their lives sleeping, and turning that into entertainment is our next challenge at Pokemon. Are you Today, listening to yourself? I would like to talk a little bit about how Pokemon plans to take on this task. I'm not gonna go into a dream world of Pokemon. First, if that's what you're doing, then I'm very excited, but I don't believe that's like what you're doing. That we are developing a new game called Pokemon Sleep. That, that was one of the things I saw. Sleeping to affect gameplay. But what, how the do you? Game is being created with the help of Select Button, who developed Pokemon Magikarp Jump. That doesn't make any sense. The concept of this game is for players to look forward to waking up every morning. Pokemon Sleep utilizes information such as the player's time spent sleeping or the time they wake up to create a new kind of entertaining gameplay. We plan to release Pokemon Sleep in 2020. What? Separately from Pokemon Sleep, we are also working alongside Nintendo and Niantic to find more ways to turn resting into gameplay. What do you First, mean? Let's have Nintendo. We're not going to be playing. We're going to be sleeping. More about a new device that they are working on. Please welcome Mr. Mariyama from Nintendo. This is ridiculous. Oh, but the song is back. I don't, I don't get that Pokemon sleep. Like, they don't give us any information on this. This is, this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen, but like, what the hell? I'm Mariyama from Nintendo. I'm in charge of device development. Oh, yeah! Do you all remember this device? Yes. I never used it. Never got it. Back in 2016, this Pokemon Go Plus was developed as a device to be used with Pokemon Go. It was made to enhance the Pokemon Go experience, and many trainers out there continue to enjoy using it to this day. I believe that it has helped many players be more active in their Pokemon Go adventures. That's the Pokemon Let's Go and stuff. Last year, we released the Pokeball Plus device, which included all of the Pokemon Go Plus functionality. Could also be used as could also be used with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee on Nintendo Switch as a controller. It also allowed trainers to put their favorite Pokemon inside the device and take them for walks. It let us deliver a gameplay experience across multiple hardware platforms. Pokemon's initiative to turn sleep into entertainment is one we support at Nintendo, and we are developing a new device for it that we're calling Pokemon Go Plus Plus. After we finished development of the Pokeball Plus, Mr. Ishihara approached us with a new idea and we began working on it together. Pokemon Go Plus Plus. As you can probably tell from the name, this device can also be used as a standard Pokemon Go Plus device. Use it as a Pokemon Go Plus while you're walking about during the day to be notified of nearby Pokestops via the LED and vibrations. And at night, you can put it on your bed. <laughs> put it on your bed. <laughs> and it will track simple information about how long you sleep. This is accomplished by the embedded accelerometer, and the results are sent to your smartphone via Bluetooth technology. 
ポケモン GO プラスに眠っている時間を計測する機能を使用することで、昼に歩いている時間だけでなく、夜に歩いている時間だけでなく、夜に歩いている時間だけでなく、夜に歩いている時間だけでなく、夜に歩いている時間だけでなく、夜に歩いている時間だけでなく、夜に歩いている時間だけでなく、夜に歩いている時間だけでなく、夜に歩いている時間だけ Thank you, Mr. Mario. I am just more curious than I am excited. You know what I mean? Like, this is. What? 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 We also believe there are opportunities to incorporate resting into the gameplay of Pokemon Go to make it a more fun and fulfilling experience. And we're working with Niantic to explore new ideas. Let's have Niantic CEO, Mr. John Henke, talk more John about Henke. their involvement. John Hello everyone, I'm John Hickey from Niantic. Niantic pioneered a new kind of gaming by turning the whole world into a game board where we can all play and explore. By creating a new way to see the world and an incentive to go outside and exercise, we hoped to encourage a healthy lifestyle and to make a positive impact on our players and on the world. We're delighted to be working with the Pokemon Company on their efforts to encourage another part of a healthy lifestyle, getting a good night's rest. <laughs> At Niantic, we love exploring the I still the can't take that seriously, man. And that can't happen unless we have the energy to embark on these adventures. We're excited to find ways to reward good sleep habits in Pokemon Go as part of a healthy lifestyle. You'll be hearing more from us on this in the future. There's one more thing. Some of you may have noticed that Snorlax is particularly excited about this development. Oh, of course. So excited that he's decided to take a nice, relaxing nap. Look around in Pokemon Go, and you may find a snoozing Snorlax just waiting to be collected. But don't wait too long. Once our sleeping Snorlax wakes up, he may disappear. That's it from Niantic on the subject of sleep. I'll hand it back to you, Mr. Ishihara. Thank you, John. Wow. John just said something about a sleeping Snorlax in Pokemon Go. And some of you there may be ready to pull out your smartphones right now to check it out, but please let me have your attention for just a little bit longer. I'm sure that by the end of our presentation today, Snorlax will start appearing in the game. Our mission at the Pokemon Company is to enrich both the real world and the virtual world with Pokemon characters. With that in mind, after having done so with walking, we now turn our focus to make sleeping more enriching for everyone. We want to turn sleep into entertainment. I can't believe they're still talking about this. Like, we get it, dude. That's all for our sleep-related initiative. <laughs> okay, thank you. For our final announcement today, I would like to show off just a little bit more of the project that DNA recently announced DNA. we are working on together. DNA. The title is Pokemon Masters. What is this? This project began with an idea from Game Freak's Ken Sugimori oh, to make Ken a game Sugimori. that featured all of the past and present Pokemon trainers from the video games. I see Rosa in there, so does that mean Ethan is in here? Ken Sugimori also created this key art that represents the concept of the game. In Pokemon Masters, all of your favorite Pokemon trainers, as well as their partner Pokemon from the main series RPGs will appear. Development is still underway, but please take a look at some gameplay footage. Okay. Alright, I'm excited. Alright, there's blue. 
Okay, this is interesting. Cynthia. Misty. That's it. Pokemon Masters will be released on Android and iOS in calendar year 2019. Calendar year. We plan to reveal more details in June next month. So please wait just a little bit longer while we prepare our announcement. Honestly, from from that art and the title, I thought they were gonna create like another so, like what did you think? origins or generations type thing, but I guess I was wrong. I guess I mean this is still interesting though. I would like to Let's check that out. There's one more small thing I'd like to share with you all. Okay. All of today's presenters, including myself, are wearing what we call Pokemon shirts. <laughs> The first 151 Pokemon that Pokemon Go also began with are featured in original fabric designs. Pokemon shirts. These designs can be mixed and matched on a website to customize and order your very own shirt with this Pokemon shirts service. And this is these are some of the shirts that were made. Currently, this service began in Japan and is available in uh, only select Asian territories. However, starting with North America and Europe, we plan to expand it to more regions around the globe. Nice. Please look forward to further details to be announced at a later date. And for everyone here in attendance today, we also prepared a small souvenir using the Pokemon shirt's designs. So please pick it up on your way out. Oh, they got lucky. Today, in order to give you a, a sense of what lies in Pokemon's future, we announced some projects that are still in development or planning phases. We will reveal more details about each project separately, so please look forward to hearing more about each individual project. I'm at a interested later date. in Pokemon Home the most. I want to know what they're going to do with That's that. That's all for our announcements today. Thank you very much. Besides the trading, of course. That was, um. That was interesting to say the least. Very, like, I mean. I interesting to say the fact that, you know. It's Pokemon. And it's like, it's new, it's different, and they're trying new stuff. But man, I, I wasn't able to react to most of this stuff. Because it just feels like, I don't know, it just feels bizarre what they're doing right now. When they did a press conference and they announced Pokemon Go, that was one of the most exciting things ever. But this stuff is just kind of like, well, what? Huh? Eh? You know, but I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. They have more stuff to reveal about Pokemon Sleep and Pokemon Masters, so I'll give them the benefit of that. And Pokemon Home, like that's the only thing that I'm excited of. But they haven't even revealed basically anything from that either. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Um, I'm gonna try to live stream the Pokemon Direct um, instead of recording it because I don't know it feels it feels better streaming it rather than recording it and then having to edit it because it just doesn't it doesn't do it justice so yeah look forward to that guys I'll probably be doing it around if it's Wednesday if it's next Wednesday I'll probably be doing it like around 8 p.m. 8 30 around there I don't and I'll be streaming my reaction to the Pokemon Direct no spoilers. Do not give me fucking spoilers. Thank you. Peace out.